to Valencia, his GC Aura team at the time took a game off of NRG. The giant killer might be at it again. He's taken out TSM alongside Extra and Tigre. Now he has his sights set on Kuxer and this new Mouse Sports squad as Ocelon will bank it out for Extra. And he does just get that around speed to kick things off. Again, now Sports signing the bricks. Looking like bricks are staying with a lot. There was a tryout period, and it looks like that is what they want to do. We're in game number one with the newly signed Mouse Sports roster, and we'll see who takes it between them and GC Aura. Very convenient for a lot. He doesn't have to change much of anything as he stays with Mouse Sports. Big time resurgence for a lot, even though, yes, the, it is impossible to forget he was relegated out of the rlcs two seasons in a row he was much better off this season as that one is blocked away off of ocelon and another one set all the way to the corner that tigre can send downfield much more the a lot of old and we even saw that play out at the rocket league summit there's a lot Goes over top of Ocelon, and he's through another. Only Tigre to beat, but he does so. GC Aura starting to get their footing in this game. They're coming off a very strong win versus uh, Mouse Sports getting a 3-0 victory. And now it looks like they're here. A good shot from Tigre in front. A lot had to work for the save. Extra putting on pressure as well. This is a great start again for DC Aura, building up off of the momentum from the victory versus TSM. Making a lot happen, or trying to, with not a lot of boost. Speed at least got this ball up in the air. It started this attack, and Kuxer missed on the double tap. That is sent away by Extra. Great defensive presence that he was throughout the previous rival series season. And now a lot comes out a little low on that ball. And Ocelon can at least disrupt the efforts of speed coming in. Another chance though. A lot. Guxer's waiting on the weak side. Keeps it away from Ocelon, but this should finally be cleared away. And GC Aura has survived an onslaught from Mouse Sports. They have survived, but the onslaught is not over. As a lot looking to set up a play forward. Extra will finally get the clear. They will make their way on the counter break to see if they can come up with some offense. But close chances from both teams. No one, though, has found the back of the net this year. This will be rolled up the back wall again, right back into the GC Aura zone. Ocelon gets over speed, but here comes Guxer. Extra. Going to take his time. Goes around a lot, and that is... Very patient and high-quality defense from GC Aura, but they have turned the ball back over, and a miss in front. Kuxer could not put that home. No power on the shot. A missed opportunity for Mouse. Both teams coming off of a long break, and we're starting to see the effects of that as there have been plenty of goal-scoring opportunities from both teams, but the shot is always off the mark and the defense from either side gets there at the very last second to close it out or to make that save. We have a minute and 20 seconds left in game number one, and we're still scored. Make no mistake, Mouse is by far the better team on paper, but this is kind of the anatomy of an upset. You miss some of those opportunities that you have to convert, and you let a team hang around a lot. That'll cascade down and is sent away yet again. The defense of GC Aura is standing up to the pressure, but something's got to give eventually. Here comes Kuxer again, but he's denied by Tigre, and GC Aura have broken the pressure once again. A lot can't play this on, so Kuxer will with a full tank. Speed going for the demo. Tigre avoids it and makes the clear. Very hard to get a dribble like that on the Batmobile. We saw Speed going for the demo, just able to throw Tigre off guard, but Kutzer just can't get the ball around him. Great chance for Mouse to keep up the offensive pressure in the final 20 seconds, but GC Aura have fight in them as well. Ocelon has extra over there, opts for Tigre instead, 
The shot goes high and wide. Final seconds of regulation. Speed trying to go underneath Ocelon. That gets the ball on the right side of the field for Mouse. Kuxer does win the challenge to sky one up, but a lot cannot play Hero just yet. May get another chance. Coming around, nobody, and we go to overtime absolutely scoreless in game one. Scoreless, but not quiet, as shots have been ringing from either side. Again, once a player finds their mark, it'll be a different start to the series. That was very dangerous. And guess what? Cutter's going to be the one to stay at home for Mouse off the follow-up. Close play here, but it pays off big for Mouse. It was only a matter of time. There were about three different saves off the goal line made by GC Aura. They couldn't apply that same pressure to Mouse. And as a result, Mouse finally break through 12 seconds into OT. And on their 11th shot, they finally score and get a 1-0 win in extra time. Again, not quiet at all for either side, really. Mouse putting on so many good shot opportunities, but the defense was there for GC Aura. Again, this is a team that looks like they are ready to go here, and they are going to, if they took out the newly found TSM roster that looks excellent on paper, then Mouse are going to have a lot stacked up against them. GC Aura isn't done yet. One goal difference and an overtime to start off this series. I expect nothing more than quality matchup here between these two teams this the winner effectively the winner's final in the upper bracket of group a the other match going on nrg and the chiefs down in the lower bracket nameless taking on the old splice squad paradox and 1ne and tsm is a losers round one matchup after this GC Aura squad knocked off TSM playing their first major event with Alpha. We are underway in game two. And quickly, out of the gates, it is Tigre. His shot is deflected away. Now Extra is gonna have a look and just getting in front. The defense of Mouse Sports, but much better pressure from GC Aura to start things off in game two. It is extra again, trying to dribble through. Tigre to pick things up, twisting through, got the shot off, but a save. Rebound opportunity is GC Aura's first goal. GC Aura finally get a goal on the board and look at Tigre just booming that over speed, able to set up a great play there for Ocelon to finish off the line. GC Aura back in the game here and at a good time, they scored first in game two. They did not waste much time putting the fight right at the doorstep of Mouse. But now here comes Mouse, looking to equalize. Hey, it took him Five minutes and 12 seconds in game one to score. It takes them that about that long here. No, it is off the crossbar. Finally, speed down to Kuxer again. No, Kuxer's at midfield, and he'll collect this. Eyes on Ocelon, here. big drive. Now, I want to see what Mouse does now playing from behind Dazrin because... It's going to be unfamiliar territory for them. They were not expecting to be behind, I think, at any point during the group stage. No, for them, I feel like they were prepping for a TSM matchup that they did not get. So now they have to face this GT Aura squad where they have probably little to no information because they never, they probably have a scrimmage team, I would assume. And for this upset to happen and this matchup to be the way it is, this probably is catching Mouse off guard. So they have to really learn the matchup while playing in the matchup. And that is a tough task. But Speed is up for the task. He gets the double, but Tigre will save the shot. A lot gives that away to Ocelon. Kuxer right back over towards a lot. But now finally Kuxer can clear this all the way downfield. Tigre, a good second touch to get rid of this ball. Now a lot. Well, speed is there. He'll get the shot off. That is falling towards the net. And Tigre makes the save right at the crossbar. 
Back the other way. Very quick counterattack that's sent away by a lot. Nobody's going to get onto this for GC Aura, except Tigre at the tail end again makes a last second save. Tigre's been saving back to back shots here for GC Aura, keeping them in this game. Again, one goal lead, very fragile. But if it's anything like last game, it might be the only goal score here. Two minutes and eight seconds left in this clock. As I was trying to say earlier before Cuxer nearly tied the game, if the GC Aura defense holds up like it did in game one, they will tie this series, but it is not going to be easy. That's something Extra should know. His team playing a ton of defense. A couple of months ago in the Rivals series, a lot can't get that one on target, but nobody recovers, and a lot does tie the game. A lot, so much room here in the backfield. The backflip is beautiful, but it also sets him up to get a good follow-up in case it misses. And he does everything the perfect amount of time. You see the defender, if he wastes one more second, he does not reach that ball. Again, great effort for a lot to tie this one up. Oh, this is a brilliant kickoff for Mouse Sports. And Cuxer was at least able to keep that ball in the zone only for a moment. Ocelon, that found a seam, but it's cleared away by a lot. Nobody pressing forward for GC Aura. That's going to be a theme, I think, in this match. Cuxer got up for the shot. Tigre makes the save. And GC Aura scrambling to try and get this ball out of the zone. That little bump on a lot may be enough to give them some daylight. You see Aura again playing this corner ball. As you see, it's very dangerous. They're doing a good job of making sure it doesn't get in front of the goal line, and they are contesting almost as many touches as they can from Mount Sports. They're finally able to clear away the pressure, but can they hold on and set up some consistent offense? A goal scored in the last minute here is crucial and possibly the game winner. A great play by Extra there to stay with the play. This will... Angle towards Extra. He's waiting for a lot's play, but he has to give way for Tigre. Final 40 seconds in another tie game. This ball will be cleared, but only as far as Extra. He's got enough to follow this, but he can't break the tie. Ducks are just narrowly missing on a banger. Tigre and a lot. They collide yet again in the final 20 seconds. It'll be Extra. Pass speed. GC Aura looking to have the last opportunity of regulation. Speed dropping one down. A lot looking for the demo. He's trying to chase down Tigre, but Tigre is able to slip free. Last clear down field. Ocelon has dealt with it. Overtime is looming, but still a chance for Mouse. Tigre, one more clear. Speed will keep it alive. His shot network is sent away and a reset. So much offensive pressure in that last 10 to 20 seconds of the game by Mouse. And they are looking very comfortable mechanically wise as well. Cookster had a backflip that just completely boomed the ball from one end to the other. And you can tell if they're pulling certain things off mechanically, it just shows how warmed up they are for the matchup. That being said, GT Aura still has not let anything in besides the goal that tied this one up as we get into OT. Seeing a lot of defense from GC Orr being played by guys coming from the midfield. They've got their back to their offensive end. And that is trouble. Extra. Going to play this himself if Cuxer doesn't get in the way. Tigre's there to back it up though. And it's saved by Speed at the goal line. Another chance that's set away yet again by Speed. And a miss at midfield. Speed to win it again. Cuxer follows. A lot is there. One, two, three. Mouser one win away. There was a shot chance in the other end of the field. GTR committee members when T Gray was on his way back, he would just pick up the boost, had to make a very tough challenge. And we saw the results of it. Missed the ball and turned into a counterattack for Mouse. And they make the most of it. They score first. Uh, in OT, obviously, one two one. Two one and one nothing. The scores in these first couple of overtimes, and what's interesting is we've seen two overtimes that have gone a combined total of about what a minute and three seconds or so. They have not been long overtimes, but that starts to wear on you, 
as a team like GCR. You come in high off of that win over TSM in all five games. You come in here, take a little extra to get ready for this matchup, and Mouse Sports have been up to the task. I wonder if we'll see a point in Game 3 where Mouse Sports starts to break the spirits of GC Aura. There was definitely a part of GC Aura that when I what I saw was them being too overly aggressive. Obviously, the goal scored in overtime is an example of that, but they are wanting to apply more pressure. Mouse Sports play very fast Rocket League. We've seen it. They can move all up the field, and we know exactly how good all these teams are mechanically. So for GC Aura, it's just about making sure they can get into the game, keep up that consistent rotation, because that's going to be the key factor here. The moment they step out of line is the moment they get punished. Ocelon will sky one up there. Tigre flies right by it, thanks to the efforts of a lot. And now Speed, can he catch up to this one? He's got plenty of boost, but does not get there in time. Now Tigre goes right by this ball as well. Extra. Keeps that ball in the zone, but it's on the hood of Kuxer. His effort creates a double command. Now Ocelon. That is going to be left for Kuxer. And there is some of that defense coming from the midfield line, but it works out for Mouse. And downfield they go again. Mouse have been very aggressive on both ends of the field. They have rolled the dice a little more often than their counterparts. And as a result, they've created a few more offensive opportunities. Like this one, perhaps. Speed was down there, but he does peel off. GC Aura making sure that they can get good touches to slow down the pace and the unstoppable almost aggression from the Mouse Sports. I say that, look at that, a bump to throw off. One player leaves the net wide open for Cookster and he gets the first goal for Mouse. Speed has not scored in this series, but his presence has been felt. He had the last touch before Cookster's shot. He had that big bump in the backfield. One nothing to Mouse. Three minutes and change away from a clean sweep and going 6-0 in games on day one. Ocelon loses out on that challenge, but it does find extra. Ocelon still down there, but he misses on the shot. That's an opportunity you have to convert if you want to spring another upset. It only gets harder as you go on. Extra, big boomer downfield. First touch, easy for speed. Second touch for Kuxer. That got through one, but Ocelon's waiting. It is all about the little decisions made all around the field. Tigre stays with this play. Trying to throw one towards the net, but nobody went after it. Instead, Extra will take this one. Ocelon is up, needs one more, but Kuxer got in his way. You don't have to play the ball as long as you can play the attacker, and that's what he did. Kuxer just getting in front of that one, making sure they can stop that from turning into a very, very disastrous momentum shift for Mouse. Does just enough, allows a lot to be able to get a clear off the back wall. Now Mouse trying to keep up some offensive pressure. Although they scored first, we still got two minutes and 20 seconds left in this game. There's still plenty of time for DC Or to score one. You've seen them do it before. Would not be surprised if they can convert a game. Speed throws another downfield, and that's all Mouse has to do. Goals have been few and far between for GC Aura. They've only scored one. Speed off the corner. He can play this himself. Instead, he's a decoy as he missed it. A lot. Banking another one towards the net that Tigre has to deal with. It's got to be better teamwork coming out of the defensive end for GC Aura. It's got to be more sure-handed play as well. These misses in the backfield are not helping matters at all. Extra to chase another one down. They've been in their backfield for so long. It's just tough for them because they cannot continue to stay in their own end. Again, they have to score a goal here. Otherwise, they're going to get sent into the lower half of the bracket. That's not the start that you want, or not the matchup you want, I would say. Again, this is a close game here. But for GTR, there's just a lot they need to do on their own. 
Paradox, by the way, has beaten Nameless. Another 3-0 sweep in Pool A. As that ball goes all the way across. And it will be a lot. Giving way to Ocelon, who just narrowly misses an equalizing goal. That's really rough for GCR as well. They are looking so hard for a goal, but they cannot get this ball in the back of the net. With 48 seconds left, they have to put everything here. Because they only have a few more opportunities left. Otherwise, this match will be all but over. Mal's looking for the sweep. They're going to continue to apply the pressure. Extra sizing one up. That gave Kuxer all day to get in his way, though. Did get the midfield boost. May need it to continue this play in the final 30. Someone's got to be up. It is Tigre on the goal line. Cleared away by the defensive mouse. Heartbreak for GC Aura. They have to score. They do. It's extra. Extra putting that one in with 16 seconds left on the clock. Ocelon, a great challenge from him. And Cookster, although he's up, he's too little too late. He's going to help Extra score that one. Again, tied up here in game number three. Mouse looking to close this out, but GC Aura still life left. Man, I wish they'd give us some entertaining games over here on the B-Stream. Another game that's headed towards overtime. Unless Mouse can really break GC Aura's hearts. Guxer over towards speed, but it's blocked away. And now GC can look downfield, but Tigre misses, and we go to OT. A lot of pressure here for GC Aura. They have to score here. They're going to be putting so much effort here on offense, but it's important to make sure they don't overexert. It's what caused them to issue last game, and now we'll see whether or not they've learned from that mistake. Extra was being harassed in the backfield a moment ago, but he does come up, and he gets a shot on, and Tigre is going to score with some confusion at the net. Confusion on defense from Mouse, but a perfect opportunity from Tigre. The ball bounces out. Speedy can't get a touch. Cookster expects Speedy to make that touch, but Tigre, he just sees the ball in the back of the net. A great shot there to close out game three. GC Aura, if this is the start of the reverse sweep. It's here and now. Another overtime, this time going to GC Aura as they score at the tail end of regulation right when you thought that opportunity on the goal line might have been the point where they just kind of start to drop their shoulders and sulk like we tried everything we could, but they finally convert and more importantly, they get over the hump in OT and now the comeback begins. The pressure starts to shift a little bit over to Mouse Sports because they had a closeout opportunity and they weren't able to cash in. And a few closeout opportunities, two stacks in there. Like you said, unable to cash oh, in, yeah. unable to find the back. That's been the name of the game for both of these teams. At the same time, there were some incredible defensive stops on Mouse Sports and Cookser, like goal line saves. The ball's practically in the net and they're still able to save it and take it out. Great job from them on that particular end, but they still give up two goals. We're three games in, three overtimes in, going on to game number four. This match has been nothing but close between these two teams. And if you ask me to guess who's going to take this one, I couldn't tell you. Five minutes to find out, or maybe six or seven, the way this series has gone. Tigre having some trouble out of the corner as, the, as Mouse brought the pressure. It is speed playing one in that T. Gray will have a much easier time of dealing with, but still cannot get by a lot. That's been a theme in this series so far. Speed now. Second touch is set away just ahead of Kuxer. Extra. Trying to play that downfield. I think he was trying to get a flip reset off that. And now Kuxer will... Oh, he has to take this. Extra. Had a defender... Bullied in the net, and Mouse have escaped unharmed so far. So far, but the pressure is coming. You see GC Orr is still moving this ball down the field and doing exactly what I expected from them. Continue to move forward, continue to just get that offensive presence into the Mouse half, but Mouse still, they have some fight in. They haven't dropped a goal just yet. Guxer falling harmlessly to the ground as a lot will have to clear this away. Speed got a piece of Ocelon. 
and can at least play this towards the middle, but nobody's there for Mouse. They had to reset after that failed effort a moment ago. Speed misses here, so a lot can clear it all the way down. And Tigray this time does get by a lot, but kind of an awkward flip there as given away possession, so Extra has to make a save at the line. Ocelon's shot, that'll be easily dealt with by Kuxer, and GCR gonna have to get a little more creative and go back to the drawing board. Gave up a little too much space in the midfield, allows Mouse to move back into their own half, but they are quickly able to clear it through. Consistent offense is going to be a big thing this game for these two, and we are just seeing so much possession from either side being given up. That's why you just see the ball one side of the field to the other. Mouse on this particular drive, too far forward, and now we have to take it from their own back end. It is Ocelon popping another away, trying to get up for this quickly, but Speed, Speedy Boy himself is there way ahead of him. Now Ocelon again challenging Cookser. This game may well be won or lost at the midfield line. There's a big shot on from Tigre, and Speed is there again to stop him. The defense on both ends of the field has been incredible, but the door's left open there, and Ocelon breaks through. Big goal here for GC Aura as well. Although it comes off of an unfortunate mistouch there, I think Speed was the one who got a piece of it. This is what GC Aura needs to can calm down, can get in control, because now Mouth are gonna be the team that has the score here. GC Aura just trying to make it to that game five. We can confirm, by the way, two teams are already through to day two. NRG with a 3-0 sweep over Chiefs, and Reciprocity has summarily dismissed South America's Lotus. So Lotus drops down to the lower bracket, as to do the Chiefs. Now this ball is in front that a lot has to guide off to the corner, but GC Aura, they're starting to feel it a little bit. They're bringing the pressure yet again to Mouse Sports, holding a 1-0 lead, trying to expand on it as Guxer sweeps this ball away. But only as far as Ocelon has got another one on target and a great touchdown field. This is a shaky Look Mouse out. Sports. There's Guxer, but Ocelon able to make the save. They can't find the net just yet. Speed looking for a double tap. He'll get it, it'll drop in front, but this one will still go off to that sidewall. Now Sports trying their best on offense here, but GT Aura have this game in control for now. They're giving Speed a lot of space in the midfield, though that is not a good idea. And Speed, or rather a lot, trying very cleverly to win that challenge. It'll be extra. Great drop down for Tigre, looking to get a very valuable insurance goal, but he meets Cookser. Sent away by Ocelon again with 45 to go. Speed needs one more. That's dangerous on the defensive end, but dealt with by Ocelon and company. Ocelon, brilliant, over two. A lot stops him in the corner. But here comes GC Aura again, trying to keep Mouse in their own defensive end for the rest of this 30 seconds. Now down to 20. It is Speed. He will not get there in time. Ocelon does. That's extra who wins the challenge, but the shot just misses. That would have been it. Instead, it's Kuxer to sky one up. Double commit for Mouse, and a lot has to give way. Final opportunity is going to be sent away by Tigre. We're going to game five unless Mouse can go the length of the field, and they can not. Game five between GC or uh and Mouse are coming up. Mouse looking very, very shaky in this last game. We saw double commits, speed, ironically slow to the ball, and just very uncomfortable pacing. And we saw a lot take, uh, he had to make a save on his rotation back with less than 10 boosts, just doing what he can to make sure that they don't get scored on yet again. GC Aura, although they won by one, still commanding this game. And as we get into game five, they do have all the momentum going almost a mirror image of the start of this series. one nothing in overtime, 2-1 in overtime, 2-1 in overtime the other way, one nothing in regulation for GC Aura 
and they are on the verge of a reverse sweep and another upset here in Group A, but getting over the finish line, that's the challenge.